Good afternoon, my name is Iman Chapman, and I'll be speaking on chapter two of Print Media by DeAndre Pike. Uh, this may seem a little rushed. I thought we were going to speak on chapter one, so I, I prepared myself to speak on chapter one. I actually had a video recorded previously before this one, so bear with me. Also, I've been a little bit under the weather, and today uh, hasn't been one of my best days, so I'm, I'm just trying to make it through the best way I can. Um, but I'm blessed to be alive and healthy and breathing. Thank you. But after chapter two, let's get started. Um, journalists hate to be lied to because it makes them look bad to publish something that later turns out not to be right. Um, they told by Jar Charles Lane, editor of New Republic. And I, I think that's something that we can all attest to. You, you, you don't want to be reading something and find out it's false. You don't want to be repeating false information because that you know, makes them look you look make you look bad and not reliable. So um, as for Jane Frank's other three book described as true life tales, um, it spoke on drug addiction, jail, and recovery. Um, that's nothing really significant, but it stood out to me because it, it just shows inspiration. And, um, you know, yeah. Uh, 1.7 million published by HarperCollins, only book I sold in 2005 was Goblet of Fire. Um, phrase Make Believe Adventure was exposed by Smoking Gun website, publishes legal, doc uh, publishes legal documents and arrest records. His memoir was a lie, which uh, when I found it was a lie, I actually did. Like, it hit me different, and it was exposed by Oprah. Frey, Frey incident brought attention to the lack of uh, fact-checking in the book publishing industry. So, uh, a thousand years ago, manuscripts were written by hand. Most could not read or write, so poetry and philosophy texts were written out laboriously by trained scribes. Access to manuscripts was confined to only to the elite. Um, the movable type printer and individual character letters punctuation emerged in um, 1000 CE in China. Um, uh, the Germ in Germany, Gutenberg uh, uh, created the printing press that used movable type in the late 1400s. I apologize, I turned off my phone. Um, back where? So, oh yeah, the, the printing pr uh, Gutenberg printing press in 19. Uh, I mean, in the 1400s, um, use uh, movable type features. They exposed more people to new ideas, experiences, and ways of thinking. Another interesting fact was 99% of people over 15 can read and write. More than three quarters of American adults say they can read a, say they read a book each year. Seven to ten of seven to ten adults read a book and read a book in print in 2013, and more than one quarter read an ebook. 21% increase in reading rates from ages 18 to 24. Uh, reports of fabrication uh, representing fiction as facts to demonstrate the print medium boasts no intrinsic magic that makes no content more truthful than a blog post. So, a book or a magazine may promote ideas, industries, and individuals in ways that are less than completely independent. Excuse me. In, in the 1890s, prominent newspapers in New York City owned by Joseph Pulitzer and Will Hearst were, bat were battling for readers by fabricating stories. This era was dubbed Yellow Journalism, named by, named by cartoon Yellow Kid. Uh, a synonym to sensational, often inaccurate, uh, and manipulative journalism, um, so all relation to Yellow Journalism. In 1896, New York, uh, New York City stuck to the facts in a sedate version of the nation news. Um, Bill Kovach and Tom Ristel described the truth telling essential core principle of journalism. Said, do not add things that did not happen, which is an objective, uh, objective approach and it's technique that's not influenced. Um, problems emerge in subjective news gathering equals, so problem emerges when reported talks to searches when the reporter talks to sources who provide unreliable information or misleading half-truths, such as through newspaper and New York Times as examples. Um, Judith, Miller, Judith Miller left her job after allegations of mishandled reporting of weapons of, mass weapons of mass destruction. Info passed along by a biased source contributed on decision to invade Iraq. No weapons were found. So basically she um, was connected by somebody with somebody and she had biased information from her own you know, on agenda, and from my understanding, I think it was, it was it's what she wanted to do personally as well on her beliefs to invade Iraq, to, just to say they had weapons of mass, mass destruction, but none were ever found. So we just went there and just were bullies. To be perfectly honest about it, that's the reality of it. Um, also, let's, um, we must fact check what people report. People they, they spoke about George Zimmerman, who had forty six calls over eight years, and it wasn't it wasn't not fourteen months. Uh, two journalists falsely reported that. 
Um, also, many people who trust mainstream media news outlets as sources of valid info. Bradley didn't think journalists should be should belong to anything. Bradley reported in 1972 the story of Berkeley of, a, of the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee reporting led to resignation of President Nixon who lied to the American public about involvement in legal activities. He basically, um, he had an illegal army um, and he wanted to invade Nicaragua. I think they did invade Nicaragua, sadly. Um, the more and more you know about the history. Uh, Bradley to poach equals a story shaped to accommodate the bias leaning of, say, a political party or an ideological perspective. Yeah. Alderman contends that the media business model can only mean an underlying conservative bias. Maintaining, maintaining independence is key in the aspect of journalism. Um, U.S. alternative press smaller news weekly across the nations are a vibrant part of the journalism landscape. Example of independent publication is scholastic journalism, high school and college news media, and print and online. One of the ways printing made money back then was by printing paid classified advertising. Uh, fair, fairness, and accuracy in reporting. An advocacy group was founded in 1986 on the belief that journalism matters, that getting out the truth can help the world, while news that distorted have terrible consequences. So they're basically saying have, have to have the, the raw truth. What you see is what you're going to write about. Don't add anything extra. Don't add anything less. What you see is what you're going to get. So this is this is separate. But as for family, my, my, my aunt used to always say, describe a situation as if I were blind. And I think this is perfectly aligned with what, what the reading is about. Uh, journalists cover key topics, explaining how money is spent, how law enforcement officials handle crime, and how education leaders decide what to teach in schools. So these are all topics that that that, that gravitate and grab the attention of, uh, of the community and, and actually help you gain an audience, especially if you have reliable information and, and, and you portrayed yourself as a reliable source ahead of time. So if you address these issues head first and and, and do it quite well, quite well, I, I think your fan base could frustrating tremendously and yeah. also um, acronym for the hip test is um, hip stands for honesty uh, independency independence and productivity and uh, these are all the the key components that stood out to me in chapter in chapter two print media thank you